All right, back with a uh, with another video today. We're going to be doing a uh, popper. We've got a bunch of big uh, Jack Ravels off the beach, so nothing better to uh, throw to big jacks than a uh, big popper to watch them come up and smash it. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be tying this one today with these uh, double barrel popper heads. I believe this is the medium size. Let me see here. This is the second to largest size they make. So, uh, as you can see, we kind of painted the head. We put these cool little holographic scales on it. You know, did a little bit of uh, bleeding gills kind of color. So, and uh, we're going to start out with the head here on the hook, just so we know where we want to end all of our uh, tying materials. So, we can go ahead and just start our thread right here behind the popper and just work back to just behind the uh, the point on the hook there so like this cut it off at this point we can take our popper head off just it's going to be in the way for the moment and we'll put it back on later uh, the first thing we're going to do we're going to get some uh, white crystal flesh this stuff's great. It's a uh, it's a synthetic material. It it doesn't hold much water at all. Uh, it's got flash built in it. It's not to be mistaken with uh, crystal flash. Uh, I know a lot of people think whenever I say crystal flash, uh, they think I mean crystal flash. This is a uh, this is a completely separate material. So we're just gonna cut off a hank or a uh, little bit off the hank, and we're gonna cut the piece in half and we're going to go ahead and just kind of pull each side out just add a little bit of a taper and add some length back to this material so, just pull each side out kind of find the center we're just going to get it right here on the back of the hook and tie it right down on top of the hook We'll fold the front part over and tie it right down as well. Get it tied nice and tight in there. And I like this pattern because I can tie it in just about any size. This is the uh, this is kind of the more medium size. We have the the larger version and smaller versions that we can tie. I can show you the, the heads on the different ones. So this is the head we're tying with. This is the bigger size head that we'd throw for something more like GT or Pike. And this is the small head that I like to use if I'm going uh, like fresh water. So. Alright, so the next material we're going to get is we're going to get some EP Crafter brush. This is the uh, 3 inch Crafter. This is the last one I got in this pack. And this is going to go right around our uh, crystal flush, so I'm going to trim a little bit of this wire out of there. And we'll tie it right on top of our crystal flush. Get our thread out of the way here. Now we'll get our our hackle pliers and we'll just start palmering this uh, this craft fur brush forward you can do as many wraps of this really as you want I mean you could theoretically you could use the whole brush we're not going to use that many but we'll probably use half the brush Just keep going. It'll uh, a lot of the fibers will kind of catch as you go on each other. So once you get a little ways down, you just find your. Uh, I can find it. I have no idea what I did with my Bach can again. 
You guys, when you're tired, you lose all your stuff. Here we go. You just take your Bach in every once in a while. Just kind of pick out some of the uh, pick out some of the fibers so you don't get as many trapped. You guys can already see this uh, this crafter brush. Once it gets in the water, it, it has a ton of movement on it. So, and we got about eight wraps on it here at the moment. We'll do two more just in front of our tie-in point. Ten total wraps. And all we're gonna do is just get our thread, come back kind of get some of these fibers out of the way and we'll tie this brush right in. Gonna lock everything down without trapping too many fibers. And if you want, if you're tying this in, a, in the smaller size, uh, say you're going for a bass or something, you can you can even use a uh, dubbing brush and just put craft fur in it on your own. Uh, that way you don't have the uh, the wire from the dubbing brush adding extra weight. You know, just so you have it floating a little bit higher, not having any problems. Again, we're going to come in here and kind of pick out the fibers. They're bakken. You, uh, if you have a little dollar store comb, you can come in. That works equally as well, just for kind of brushing the fibers out, getting them back. We want to get as many of them untrapped as we possibly can. Just kind of brush back. And you start to get that little bit of a, uh, of a minnow shape there. And we'll kind of tie back on our materials here just a little bit. Just get everything that'll happen on you sometimes too. But you just want to get everything laying back. Kind of cover up uh, a little piece of wire there. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a couple hackle feathers just as a uh, as a lateral line. So we'll kind of find two decent looking feathers here in our cape. All we're going to do is take our feather. We're going to tie one on each side of the uh, one on each side of the fly here. That one looks good. I'll tie one here on the near side. Cut it out. And we'll take this other one. I'm going to measure it so it's about the same length. And we'll tie it on on this far side of the hook. And cut out our excess. Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is the, uh, the collar leading up to the head. For that, we're going to use this uh, this flex hackle, and it's uh, it's kind of like a Palmer chenille. It's not uh, not too different from it, but it's it's almost like a rubbery Palmer chenille. It has a lot of flash in it. But it's uh, it's kind of a thicker material. Uh, if I'm just going with the smaller versions of these, I'll just use the Palmer chenille. With the bigger versions, I do like using this crystal hackle. We'll kind of tie some of that in, lay it back, and then we're also going to tie in with that a couple pieces, a couple pieces of schlappen. If I can just find a couple pieces here I like, 
There's a good one. All right. We're going to take this and just kind of fold the ends back on it. We're going to tie that in as well. Just a couple pieces. And that adds just a little bit more movement to this uh, to this collar. Kind of get our thread out of the way here. All right. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to line up the stems of these hackles on either side of the uh, uh, flex hackle. All I'm going to do is just kind of, with my uh, hackle pliers, let's just give it a twist. Same way as if you were doing a, uh, a dubbing loop, but we're just twisting hackles. I'll just kind of brush it out here a little with our fingers. You can come in with your Bakken if it looks like some are getting, some fibers are getting trapped in there. It looks like a big mess at the moment, but we're gonna start palmering this around the uh, palmering this around, just kind of stroking everything back. You don't need too many wraps of this stuff. So we'll probably just do three or four here. Let's just go four, and then we can wrap back on it. That looks good. This stuff can be a little unruly, so you gotta kind of hold it back. And we'll try to figure out where everything ends. And get it tied down nice and tight here. Now that everything looks nice and real messy, you kind of pull everything back and we'll clean it up by just tying back on itself. Don't worry if you go a little forward of the mark that you had. It's all right, it gives us something for the, uh, the glue to hold on. Let me put the head on. In fact, we'll just go all the way down the shank so we're going to cover the shank here anyways with thread. By doing that, it just uh, it gives you a better hold on your uh, on your popper head when you glue it down. You don't have to glue your popper heads down. I mean, if you want to try to save popper heads, but typically I like to glue them down just to have them a little bit more durable for me. All right. So, like I said, at the moment. It looks like a big unruly mess. We'll kind of work our thread forward here again. And we'll go ahead and whip finish. As far as the tying portion, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, we can go put our popper head back on here, see how it's going to look. Push it all the way back to our tying point. Yeah, it kind of pushes those uh, those fibers back down for you once you push it back on there. All right. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, you can glue the head down. Uh, using a little bit of, uh, of Loctite glue. You can, uh, you can come back with a Sharpie and do the back. Um, kind of show you what that looks like. And if you want to do the Sharpie, you know, you can kind of get this uh, mullet look to it. 
This is the uh, this is the much bigger size of the same fly. But yeah, that's the uh, that's our double barrel popper. So this is a great fly. Use uh, all around on the beach, snook, tarpon, big jacks. You know, if you want to, you can come in here and you can kind of trim some of this up a little bit. It's uh it's not super necessary, but kind of trim it up, just make it look good. And uh, yeah, go out, tie yourself a few, throw them at some of the uh, big jacks that are showing up off the uh, beaches right now. Later in the year, if you're uh, if you're a pike guy, if you're a uh, if you're a GT guy, you can tie these up and uh, have yourself a ball. Uh, we'll put all the uh, materials uh, down below in the description. And if you guys have any questions on the uh, pattern, just give me a comment and uh, I'll respond to it. Thanks a lot.